Hi guys and welcome to the mixing lessons, we're finally getting there. Now as I said in my mixing intro video, I really want to address the low end of this track because after referencing you know, similar tracks then obviously they have a nice big warm, not boomy but energetic low end let's say for hip hop and urban tracks. So this is what I want to start on first, the kick and the bass in this lesson. But please bear in mind this is the low end of a mix is generally where people go wrong, myself included in the past it is the hardest thing to get right. So you have to be very careful with your subs of your kick conflicting with your bass. And when you're bringing in an extra kick, which we're gonna do in a minute, we don't want the subs to be conflicting. But So let's have a little look at beefing up this kick, because at the moment it's just, it's okay, but it's just not a big enough kick for this hip hop track. It's just not enough body to it. It's a live played kick drum, so what I want to do is just add a synthesized kick drum to it. What we're going to do is just duplicate this track, which is a sampler track, of course. So all I've got to do is duplicate it. It's going to copy across all the MIDI, and all I've got to do is, is chuck a different sample into the sampler, and we're away. I think this, was, this one's got the right mid range to it, kick number three from the Born to Produce samples pack, which I will include, of course, in the work files. So let's just have a little listen now. So this is with the original kick on its own. And with, with the new one, it completely transforms it, but let's just have a little listen to some possibly conflicting subs. First of all, just gonna turn it down. Now there's a couple of things I want to do to this. Let me just bring up some EQ on both channels so you can see them side by side. So we've got the kick main on this window here and the duplicated kick, the second kick on here. I'm just going to click Spectrum on both of them so we can see what's going on. So you can see they both have quite a lot of sub information in them. And so when we sum them together, we're going to have problems. So what I'm going to do is, as the second kick is a slightly cleaner sub sound than the first, the first one is a little bit muddy. There's the first one. Quite muddy. There's the second one. Much, much cleaner. So what we'll do is, to make way for the sub of the second one, we'll just take out a little bit of the sub on the first one. So I'm just going to put a low shelf in. And we're going to cut around 100, 120 below. That's with, the, with no EQ. That's with EQ. Just bring in the second kick to see how that plays together. So with no EQ quite boomy with EQ so now we have a punchy kick let's check that in the mix Angeles is where I'm from. If hop is intelligence DJs became the only drum and the cyphers became the stages instead of so let's just check the levels again And I'm just going to take out a little bit of the mid-range of the original kick as well. Because we're getting this sort of sound. Which I don't like. I'm just going to take that out. And this also makes way for the mid-range in the second kick as well. One final listen in the mix. Back in the 90s, we was the update. We the reason why you love mixtapes. Back then it started with this new Let's take out the bass because we're going to sort out the bass in a second. Go hip hop, we only want connected to the people. Gangsters, 
they wore the tight jeans. We wore the baggy ones. Los Angeles. And the result there is a much, much fuller, much more punchier kick drum. And this is going to suit our track a little bit better than how it was before. Thanks so much for your support guys. Please click the like button and subscribe to our channel for more great videos.